Vision is so very important for primates, and the first primates change their skulls to protect the eye more. The frontal bone formed a process which contacted a process from the zygomatic bone, and these formed a post-orbital bar that completely encircled the eye in bone. The tarsiers included even more bony protection behind that. The lacrimal bone became a bit shorter and now was confined to the orbit. So, the orbit it was changed in the first primates. Life in the trees requires a greater degree of digital dexterity for grasping branches on which one's life depends. And the part of the nervous system which gives voluntary control to muscles, the corticospinal tract going from the motor cortex down through the spinal cord, increased in size and its control over muscles in the early primates and all throughout primates it would increase more. Thus, digital dexterity and voluntary control over muscle movements was enhanced beginning in the first primates. I hate to brag, but primates in general are rather smart, smarter than your average mammal. In humans and in prosimians, one sees an expansion of the cerebrum, an expansion of the cerebellum, an expansion of the frontal and parietal cortices, the expansion of the cerebrum over the olfactory bulb, a number of folds which are shared in all primates. These gyri and sulci are uh, shared among primate brains, and an area which in human brains controls the movements for speech. In all primates can control movements of the larynx for vocalizations. So primates share some features of their brains. All primates share a number of other features as well. Some of these are anatomical, so for example, in female primates, the urinary and reproductive systems are separate in that the urethra does not fuse with the vagina, as is true in many mammals, and the labia minora develop around the vestibule. These are primate features. There are many shared genetic features, so for example, the gene L-gluolactone oxidase is what most mammals use to make their own vitamin C. This was mutated in early primates, and in all primates, this gene is non-functional. It is a pseudogene, which is why primates depend on uh, plant materials and fruits for their vitamin C, because unlike most mammals, they can no longer synthesize their own. Humans still possess this broken pseudogene on chromosome 8P21.